And so is the golden city blackened with each step you take in my hall. Marvel at perfection, for it is fleeting. Don't we know? You have brought sin to heaven and doom upon all the world. It is from the Canticle of Thronodes, chapter 8, verse 13. <laughs> the Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the darkspawn into our world. Subtitles are tiny AF. The mages had sought to usurp heaven. Uh. Instead, they destroyed it. Man. Yeah, these ones. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the darkspawn. That's right. Mage is bad. They became a blight upon the lands. Unstoppable. Ooh, look at how creepy they are. Relentless. Ooh, they're glowing eyes. Okay. The dwarven kingdoms were the first to fall. And from the deep roads, Aww. the dark spawn drove at us again and again. Our minds until finally Moria. we neared annihilation. <laughs> Hubris. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got some friggin' golems. Come at me, bro. Oh, this isn't gonna end well for anybody. Yeah. Until the Grey Wardens came. Oh, Grey Wardens, Men okay. And women from every race. Warriors and mages, barbarians and kings. The Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness. Aww. And prevail. Yay, heroes. Oh, heroes with magic. Yes, but not mages? Oh. That's a blood. It has been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. <laughs> We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. Oh, yeah. We all know history doomed to repeat. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. You guys took a page from the Witcher playbook. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Is this the kind of blood splatter that's in this game? This is going to be amazing. Too late. For I have seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Oh. Maker, help us all. Uh oh. Oh no, Miss Fortune. Have a good day at work. Thanks for stopping by this morning. Good morning, goofball. Okay, background I select will determine which of six distinct opening stories I play through. Oh, no fucking pressure here. Jeez. Uh, it also affects how characters respond to you throughout the game. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let, let's be... Oh, thanks for your lurk. <laughs> no blood splatter for you. <laughs> I don't think it's very realistic. <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for your cheers! Thanks, babe! Okay, so, uh, let's see. Uh, I can be human, I can be elf, or I can be dwarf. I think I want to be an elf. Uh, human, uh, most numerous, yet div uh, most divided. Only four times have they ever united under a single cause. The last being centuries ago. Religion and the Chantry play a large part in human society. It distinguishes them uh, culturally from elves and dwarves more than anything else. Humans can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Once enslaved by humans, most elves have all but lost their culture, scrounging an impoverished living in the slums of human cities. Oh, that's so sad. 
Only the nomadic Dalish tribes still cling to their traditions, living by the bow and the rule of their old gods as they roam the ancient forests, welcome nowhere else. Elves can be warriors, rogues, or mages. Okay. Rigidly bound by caste and tradition, the dwarves have been waging a losing war for generations, trying to protect the last stronghold of their once vast underground empire from the dark spawn. Dwarves are very tough and have high resistance to all forms of magic, thus preventing them from becoming mages. Okay, so I can't be a mage if I'm a dwarf. So either an elf or a human. Hmm. I think I want to be an elf. Okay. I could be a warrior. Powerful fighters focused on melee and ranged weapons to deal with foes. I can be a magi. Wielding a power as dangerous as it is potent. You know that magic is a curse for those lacking the will to control it. You anxiously await your harrowing, the one chance to prove yourself against the demons lurking without and within. Succeed or be slaughtered by the knights who warred against your kind. Oh, man. So, that's right. Mages are basically hated at this point. Uh, my, oh, whoops. My last option is a rogue. Skilled adventurers who come from all walks of life. Uh, skills in picking locks, spotting traps, making them valuable to any party. I'm terrible at rogue. Um, I don't, I don't like being sneaky. We all know this. <laughs> we all know this. Um... If I go warrior, I get to hit things with a stick. And I can be a Dalish elf or I can be a city elf living under the heavy thumb of human overlords. I don't want to... Do I hit stuff with sticks? Or do I blow stuff up with magic? I always kind of... <laughs> That's right. I didn't uh, I didn't play the theme song this morning. Um, God, my eyes will not stop watering. My allergies suck today. Ugh, this is terrible. I feel like I always kind of take the the warrior route, so I should like try to be a mage. We all know me. I'm yeah, me and I Kalis Jenkins it all up in here. So maybe it'd be good for me to play a class where I kind of have to hang behind a little bit and not get into the thick of things. It'll be a challenge. So I'm going to do it. Let's do it. Greetings. Ooh. Oh, yay. I do get to, to make some choices here. Choices. Complexion. Ooh, I can be old. I can be very old. I don't want to be that old. But I don't want to be super young either. I want to, well, no, that's good. Not really seeing a difference in the blush color here.
Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it's green. Oh, I can do. That just makes me look like I have some kind of strange bruising. That's not too bad. How vain am I? Ugh. I'm like trying to do this through my own eyes that are just, they won't stop watering. Ugh, it's so bad. Oh no, 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 no. Here we go. We'll keep her in earthy tones. Ooh, a tattoo. Oh. I don't love these. I don't hate that one. I don't know, is my girl a face tattoo kind of girl? I don't like that. Some of these just look evil. I don't I don't know if I really want to be like I don't know if I want to make shit choices. You know me. Well, maybe I kind of do. Oh, you can choose the intensity. I'm gonna dig that. That's right, I still have to, there's still plenty of choices to make too. Oh no, those bangs are bad, girl. Kinda dig that. I don't like that. Oh, how did I end up? Wait a minute. Ooh, I can be a bald, a baldy. The long one is pretty. Kind of like this one. This one has like a little bit of a warrior vibe to it. Oh, I like that knot in the back. That's fun. Of course, and then with the, the long hair, you can't actually see my ears. Oh, yeah. We're going redhead. Definitely going redhead. Um, oh, those eyebrows are scary. It's too much. That's fine. <laughs> As a loop so you can hang it up at night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Badass Dr. Crusher. <laughs> um, what do we got for eye color? Oh, it's... Oh, I like that. Mm. 
Um, make our girl's eyes a little bigger. Yes. These just make me look surprised. <laughs> Let's see. That's kind of a cute nose. I think I want to bring it up a little bit. Okay. Um, that's too pointed. Oh, there we go. Shorten it up a little bit. It was an incredibly pointed nose. Eh, you know. There we go. Do an overbite or an underbite? Interesting. Ooh, okay. Well, we kind of know that elves are a little bit put upon at this point. Make her cheeks a little more. Although, if I'm a mage, I think that I've been, like... There we go. For a little bit more chin. Not a lot, just a little. She's an elf. Let's give her some high cheekbones. That's a little too much. Oh, he can't see my ears. Guess we'll just leave the ears alone. Portrait. Oh, funny. You can change. <laughs> I like that. Um, and my expression. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amazing. <laughs> I 
I do like this little uh, raised eyebrow. There we go. Name. Nerea Serana. Actually, I really like that name. It almost sounds like Nerese, Kira Nerese. You know what? Let's go with Nerese. Let's do it. All right. Next. Oh, goodness. I got to I got to spend some points. Um okay, well, I am a <laughs> Dumbin Matrix. Um okay. So, I am a mage, so we're probably going to want to boost magic. And we're probably going to want to boost, um, is it dexterity? No. Um, willpower? Yeah. Um, and we'll do cunning. Points to spend. One point to spend. Coercion as a passive skill, stealing, trap making, survival, herbalism, poison making, combat training. Oh, interesting. Okay, so I'm already a beginner level herbalist is my understanding here then. So now I, I get to pick something else. Okay. Coercion, stealing, trap making. Um, small bonus to nature resistance. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. Um, influential enough, strength contributes to a more intimidating character, whereas cunning contributes to a more persuasive character. Oh, yeah, I don't want to be intimidating. Oh, strength contributes to intimidating, whereas if I boost cunning, then I become more persuasive. Okay, I got it. All right, yeah, let's do this. Let's try it. Let's do coercion. Um, I'm a mage. Yes. Okay, so I have fire bolts. And I can choose a primal. Okay, flame blast. Oh, we do like... I do like the idea of shooting fire from my hands. Rock armor. I become hard as stone, granting a bonus to armor for as long as the mode is active. Interesting. Winter's Grasp envelops the target in frost, freezing lower level targets solid. And those that resist suffer a penalty to movement. Lightning! <gasps> Caster fires a lightning bolt at a target, dealing electricity damage. Oh, friendly fire possible. Ooh. Oh, friendly fire is possible with flame blast, too. Um. Oh, man, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's I don't know, let's do it. All right, let's go with the let's go with that. Uh next up on there is shock under creation. Oh, look at all these other ones that I have. Entropy. Caster drains a target of energy. Vulnerability hex, a hex that inflicts penalties to cold. Disorient, subtle mental manipulation that disorients the target. Drain life, creates a sinister bond, draining its life in order to heal the caster. Oh, I like that. Who doesn't like that? I'm over here. I've got a spell shield. That's cool. Um, when active, hostile spell targeted at the caster has a 75 percent chance of being absorbed into the fade draining mana instead mana drain 
talking bomb. The caster magically injects a target with corrosive poison that inflicts a continual nature damage. If the target dies while the effect is still active, it explodes, damaging all targets nearby. Although this spell is related to virulent, uh, uh, virulent walking bomb, the magic behind the two does not interact. A target cannot be infected with both. Friendly fire possible. Oh my god, that's amazing. Mind Blast. Caster projects a wave of telekinetic force that stuns enemies caught in the sphere. I don't know. I'm really down with this walking bomb thing. Uh, general heal. Instantly healing an ally by a moderate amount. Allies aptitude in battle. Granting a bonus to attack. That's interesting. Glyph of paralysis. Uh, paralyzes the first enemy who crosses it. Um, okay. Caster summons a wisp that grants a small bonus to spell power for as long as this mode is active. Oh, I can have a little wisp. How lovely. Well, I kind of want to do the walking bomb. I'm not going to lie. Is, am I a bad person? We're going. We're doing it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go easy. <laughs> Mostly, I'm just, I want to play the story. So let's go easy. <laughs> Pause the game. Space bar to issue orders to your party. On oh, good. Overlooking okay. The dark waters oh, here we go. Kalenhod stands the tower fortress that is home to the Circle of Magi. This tower is the only place in Ferelden where mages may study their art among others of their kind. Within the high stone walls, the Circle practices its magic and trains apprentices in the proper use of their powers. But the Circle Tower is as much a prison as a refuge. The ever-vigilant Templars of the Chantry watch over all mages, constantly alert for any sign of corruption. Oh, this human yeah. cage is the only world you know. Ah, uh, okay. Found to be sensitive to magic at a young age, you were torn from your family and grafted here as an apprentice. Now, that apprenticeship is nearly over. All that remains is the final test, the harrowing. Magic exists to serve man and never to rule over him. Thus spoke the prophet Andraste as she cast down the Tevinta Imperium, ruled by mages who had brought the world to the edge of ruin. Your magic is a gift, but it's also a curse. For demons of the dream realm, the Fane, are drawn to you and seek to use you as a gateway into this world. Oh. Okay. This is why the harrowing exists. The ritual sends you into the Fane, and there you will face a demon armed with only your will. Oh, okay. I am ready. Oh, you know what? Let's do... I might have to make a change here to the... Yeah, hang on a second. I'm going to just fix this real quick. You know what? Let's just, I'm going to make it a little short, I guess. Just so that. Oh, you know, I could probably turn that off. You know what? I can turn this off. Good morning, Whirlin! Um, hang on a second. I want...
There we go. Okay, I am ready. Is there any other option? What happens if I cannot defeat the demon? Yeah, let's let's start there. It will there. turn you into an abomination, and the Templars will be forced to slay you. Cool. This is Lyrium, the very essence of magic, and your gateway into the Fade. The harrowing is a secret out of necessity, child. Every mage must go through this trial by fire. As we succeeded, so shall you. Keep your wits about you, and remember the fate is a realm of dreams. The spirits may rule it, but your own will is real. The apprentice must go through this test alone, First Enchanter. You are ready. Oh, that 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 just doesn't look good right there that that doesn't look good oh pause oh there's a healing base there whoa what is hitting me whoa Why? How is this? Why is this not working? It's not telling me what to do. Oh, do I literally have to pause every time I want to cast something? Well, that worked. Game didn't tell me what to do, but I guess I fucking figured it out. Here's a vase of healing. Here's this is very confusing. But I guess we're fine. <laughs> Oh, look. Select the target, then cast. Yeah, it, unfortunately, like, it's hard to tell if clicking on it does it because these motherfuckers are hitting me before I even have a chance to... Someone else thrown to the wolves, as fresh and unprepared as ever. It isn't right that they do this, the Templars. Not to you, me, anyone. Oh, hi, little rat. Is is this is this the fade? You're a talking rat. No, it isn't right at all. I will succeed, right or not. <laughs> you think you're really here in that body? You <laughs> look like that because you think you do. It's always the same. But it's not your fault. You're in the same boat I was, aren't you? Allow me to welcome you to the Fade. You can call me... Well, 
mouse. Uh huh. Not your real name, I take it. You took the harrowing. You can change your shape. Like I said, in this place, you are what you perceive yourself to be. I think I used to be like you. Before. The Templars kill you if you take too long, you see. They figure you failed, and they don't want something getting out. That's what they did to me, I think. I have no body to reclaim. And you don't have much time before you end up the same. What am I supposed to do? How long do I have? That's not going to happen to me. That has been said before, but you don't know the danger. I don't trust you. Here contained just for an apprentice like you. You have to face the creature, a demon, and resist it. If you can, that's your How do I know you're not that demon? Or your opponents, if the Templars wouldn't kill you. A test for you. A tease for the creatures of the Fae. Anything can die. I doubt it's as simple as that. Why pit me against such a creature? I don't understand why this test is so feared. You would be a fool to just attack everything you see. What you face is powerful, cunning. There are others here, other spirits. They will tell you more, maybe help. Demons did nothing wrong. Yeah, <laughs> right, <see>. Tail. <laughs> I'll follow, if that's all right. My chance was long ago, but you... You may have a way out. All right. The dangerous spirit is not far. Don't go near it unless you're ready to fight. I mean, I don't really have a choice but to be ready. This doesn't look good. That is where the test will take place. The creature can be anywhere, but it manifests there. Where's that? I can't do anything to it. Devin hasn't shown me the white coat pick, but I did hear that you got your white coat. Congrats, uh, congrats, uh, grazie. Uh, hang on a second. Oh wait, there's another friggin'. Yeah, like, it's, this is so... Like, I'm choosing it. It's almost like I first have to click to choose the target, like. It's almost like I have to choose the target in, in the pause mode. And then once I do. are you? Spirit of Valor. You look like somebody I need to talk to. Her name is the warrior.